to create that image was an intellectual, was an artistic choice. Then this person inputted around 30 prompts and really key over 120 negative prompts to determine the output. Using detailed prompts like Japan Idol, cool pose, viewing at camera, and film grain, and then adjusted the prompts based on what was going on. And those negative prompts are really important because that shows they're not just typing in a few prompts and taking it out. You're not going to get a copyright for that. But it's digging down and actually doing the detailed human work that was proven through the process of prompts. So if you're creating AI art and you want to prove it, keep your prompts, document your process so you can show the human level that was involved. And by setting and resetting technical parameters to produce, choose, and rearrange the pictures, the court said this is definitely an intellectual contribution. So that copyright protection was given to that image because the human, the prompt engineering made it, just like Debanksha said at the beginning. Prompt engineering is a skill, an art, a science.